Governor, thank you for joining us. Uh, looking back on your first year, has it frustrated you at all that so much of your bandwidth has had to be dedicated to COVID? And how has that hampered your ability to effect change in the ways that you might have been planning, say, this time last year? Well, I, I came into office uh, wanting to push the state forward on critical areas like education, uh, health care, uh, jobs, ethics, uh, and, and we've done a lot of good work there, uh, but I'm not frustrated. You know, I, I, I think that responding to this virus will probably be the most important thing I'm ever called to do in my professional life. Teachers were major supporters of Bashir, and education was a centerpiece of his campaign. And, and yes, a lot of the focus has been on the pandemic, on making sure that virtual learning is the best experience it can be, also with our schools providing millions of meals for, for children, even during the summer in the course of, of this pandemic. And yes, I think that they have made strides to improve education, but like everything else, uh, COVID has impacted the pace that we can move forward. Improving access to healthcare was also a major campaign, campaign platform. What have you been able to accomplish in your first year along those lines? Well, I think we've done a lot and, and thank goodness. First thing we did is rescind uh, the former governor's Medicaid waiver. It would have kicked 100,000 Kentuckians off their health care coverage right before a pandemic. Bashir also says his Medicaid expansion has helped Kentucky keep death tolls much smaller than states to the south. For my last question, Governor, I'd just like to ask you what your top priorities are for 2021. Well, 2021 is going to be a better year than 2020. Uh, we are going to distribute this vaccine and we're going to defeat this virus. And that has to be front and center, but that is on the horizon. There is a new world and a bright new world that is coming after COVID. We have a chance to do more in Kentucky than we ever thought was possible. And I am really uh, looking forward to help lead us there. Mark Vanderhoff. WLKY News. The governor's pandemic restrictions and closings have faced legal fights in the last several months. Currently, a, the attorney general is asking the U.S. Supreme Court to overturn Bashir's executive order, which is all schools, including private religious ones, closed until the county is out of the red zone.